Every villain is the hero to their own story. The SJWs should take that to heart. Their endless virtue signaling always results in them being exposed for the very thing they accuse others of being. Sure, Star Wars is a very diverse galaxy, but Luke, Luke Skywalker is a white male re can't have that. <laughs> okay, look, tweets from those fat, ugly weirdos are definitely cheap, but wallets sure definitely speak because you know it's bad when you choose to make toys out of one of the most hated characters in your entire franchise because not only is he more likable than any of the new bland, emotionless planks of wood that we unfortunately call sequel characters, but he also sells more toys, which is a failure if I've ever seen one. And that pretty much sums up this whole dead era of Star Wars in a neat tidy bow. Now if you are sick and tired of SJW woke garbage infecting our media hit the subscribe button. I don't know if I'll make more Star Wars content it's depending on the reaction it's depending on the feedback so hit the notification bell if you are enjoying these. Now when you actually come to the realization that the Disney sequel trilogy was so bad that it made people look back and actually like Jar Jar Binks because when it comes to merchandising it's no surprise to anyone that Hasbro doesn't want anything to do with Disney Star Wars. It certainly looks like they are still pissed off at Disney then because they're just going to pretend that the sequel trilogy that just ended a year ago doesn't exist. Now Hasbro is celebrating their 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm and there's a particular group of soy boy characters missing. I think Hasbro doesn't have the money to waste because even though Disney might enjoy bleeding money for social justice. Hasbro certainly does not. We all know nobody loves money quite like Mickey Ho <laughs> Oh, mouse. Because do you remember when Disney removed John Boyega from the Force Awakens poster in China? They even lightened up his skin tone to appease the Chinese audience to make a few extra bucks. Then they have the audacity to post a Black Lives Matter on their accounts. The level of hypocrisy is reprehensible because not only are the SJWs preachy, they're also spineless. They are the worst kind of people which is a shame because John John Boyega's character was what initially drew me into the first movie. The thought of a defector stormtrooper becoming a Jedi Knight is a fucking interesting concept. But nah, just do the boring ass Mary Sue to panda to China. But anyway, back on topic, when people would rather remember Jar Jar Binks than every single character from the Disney trilogy, you know something is deeply wrong. Because Ray Palpatine is one of the worst characters in Star Wars. Yes, even worse than Jar Jar. At least Jar Jar Binks was funny and entertaining regardless of how annoying he could be and yes god he was so annoying. But looking back we might have been too harsh on Jar Jar Binks because now he's getting the love and appreciation that he deserved the whole time because Jar Jar Binks did it all. The Empire, the clones, Anakin, he did it all. Ressa a bad bad character, Misa thinks, excuse me? Yes that was my Jar Jar Binks voice, it's terrible but him selling more toys than the entire new trilogy is hilarious to say the least but it also shows how much of a disaster Star Wars has become. But one unexpected perk from this is that it does show us that the whole all roads lead to the sequels is a pretty hollow statement. Considering the complete lack of new sequel content or merchandise, Disney is sure acting like the sequels don't exist like the rest of us. Now I know this has been said hundreds of times but making Ray Palpatine the main character of the sequels was a major, major miscalculation. The sequels should have been about Anakin's legacy through the continued story of Luke Skywalker and his nephew who has turned to the dark side. That relationship should have been explored more. But instead we got Jake Skywalker milking the titty of a dinosaur cosplaying as Kathleen Kennedy. I mean bravo Kathy, I gotta give it to you. You managed to at least unite the fandom with the sheer amount of hatred towards you. Kathleen Kennedy is a parasite like every other NPC. They attach themselves to a franchise and slowly destroy it over time. If nothing is done to remove them, eventually the host, in this case Star Wars, becomes a force ghost and dies. Hopefully Jon Favreau will have a few things to say about that. Now we need to make a what if Darth Jar Jar happen. Disney will be literally printing money. That is where the fun begins. Now since we are talking about toys, we need 
a hallway Luke Skywalker figurine with the cloak over his head. You could probably sell more dark hallway playsets from the Mandalorian and Rogue One than the whole sequel trilogy characters combined and on that bombshell. Thank you all for watching. Manix out.